Hey, what's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, today's video, I'm going to go over what happened to a subscriber. He got scammed. He got hustled last night in Zona Norte. And I want to go over the top five hustles or scams that I think people are pulling in Zona Norte. These scams have been going on for years. Guys, if you're new to my channel, you're new to Zona Norte, you're definitely going to want to hit that red subscribe button, okay? And give me a thumbs up and watch my videos. I have a lot of very good informative information on Tijuana's Red Light District, also known as Zona Norte. And you're definitely going to want to watch because I give you the direct, straight information with no clickbait. Guys, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. And you're probably going to know all this information and probably some of these scams have happened to you before. But I really would appreciate you guys hanging around, watching this video, giving me a thumbs up because it really helps me with YouTube. Okay, guys. So here's what happened. This kid flies into San Diego, just like I told him to. He crossed the border at San Ysidro, just like I told him to. He went to his hotel, he got checked in, and then he went to the Adelita Bar. When he went to the Adelita Bar, he sat down, he started talking to a girl. She asked for a drink, for a beer. He agreed to buy it for her, and the waiter shows up with a whole bucket of beer and charged him $40, four zero. And he said at that time, he just kind of took my advice because it was the first time he had been there and he didn't want to make a scene. And he just chalked it up to the cost of doing business. He paid the $40, but then I think he left the establishment pretty quick. All right, guys, it does surprise me that this has happened at the Adelita Bar, kind of. I would expect that out of some other places, but not really there. But let me go ahead and tell you how to deal with that situation. If you're new... And you go in there and the girl says, will you buy me a drink? Tell her, yes, I will buy you one beer. When you order, tell the waiter, one beer. Be assertive, okay? Now, I'll tell you how I got scammed like this. When they bring you the bucket of beer, if they bring you the bucket and they're trying to hustle you, uh, in my case, when they brought the bucket, everything was already opened, okay? So I started raising hell. I started going crazy. I started using some really foul language and telling them how you know, what I really thought of them. Now, keep in mind, I was not in the Adelita bar when this happened to me. I was in some sidebar that I never had any business going in, but I got hustled by those guys on the street saying, hey, come in, buddy, come in, buddy, come in, buddy, no cover. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've been there before. Okay, so anyways, long story short, this kid got hustled at the Adelita bar. I asked him if all the beers were open. He said no. Guys, if you look down and those beers are not opened, return them. Be assertive. Just tell them, hey, look, man, I'll leave right now, right? No one's going to beat you up. No one's going to do anything to you. You should not be intimidated. But that is definitely a hustle. That's a scam. It happens to people. You, you think you're ordering a beer. They bring you a whole bucket and they charge you 40 bucks, okay? All right. Scam number two. Guys, this is going to be the taxi drivers. And here's the big thing that I've noticed. When you walk across the border and you get in a taxi, and you tell them that you want to go, for example, to the Hong Kong club or to the Chicago club. A lot of times what they'll say is, oh, you know, maybe that place is closed. My buddy has this new massage parlor. It's called XYZ Massage Parlor. Let's check that out. Guys, don't go for that. Do not go for that. All that is is a ploy to get you taken to another spot that's given that cab driver a kickback for bringing customers in. Okay? Do not do that, especially if you're new. Go to the top three places, the Adelita Bar, Hong Kong Club, and the Chicago Club. Trust me on this. Another thing taxi drivers will do, guys, they'll get in good with the cops. And if they know you have a lot of cash on you, this has happened before too. They know you have a lot of cash on you. If you flash your cash or something like that, or maybe you're using the same taxi driver because you like him, guys, don't be so trusting. They will set a situation up where they'll get pulled over and the cops will search you and take your money away from you. That happened to a couple of my subscribers a couple weeks ago. Okay, guys, the third scam. Now, this is a scam that I haven't seen in Zona Norte in a while, but it existed for a long time. There was a big Mexican dude who was always well-dressed in like a sports coat and khaki pants or whatever, and he had a fake badge. And he would walk up to you and flash the badge and he would tell Americans that 
He was an undercover detective with the Tijuana Police Department. And actually, all he was was a deported illegal immigrant from the United States that had a bunch of felonies. But he had the badge, and he would tell you that he was doing an investigation under something, drugs or whatever it could be. And he would ask to search you, and then he would say, well, you know, that girl you were talking to on the street, you know, she's not 18 years old. Whatever the situation, he would come up with something that was totally ridiculous, and he would take money and intimidate American tourists, okay? Now, the fourth one, guys. The fourth hustle is do not buy any illegal substances in Tijuana. If you find yourself on a back alley or you find yourself walking to one of the bars and sometimes there'll be a shoe shine boy or a street vendor and he'll say something like drugs, pills, you know, whatever. Ignore that. Get away from those guys, okay? Because a lot of those guys work with the police. And let me tell you what happens. Whenever you buy whatever it is that you buy, you're going to get searched or pulled over walking down the street immediately afterwards because they work with the cops. And what's going to happen is they're going to take the rest of all your money that you have on you and they're going to take whatever substance it is that you bought, okay? So you're you're going to lose your money and you're going to lose your substance. It's just a bad situation, guys. Do not get caught up in that. Okay, guys, another scam that waiters pull is the change scam. Now, the change scam has two different types of deals to it. Number one, a lot of times you'll order a drink and you'll pay with like a 50 or a 20 or maybe even a 100, and they'll come back and they'll say that you paid them with a 10, okay? So how you get around that is, first of all, this very rarely, rarely, if ever happens at the big bars, okay, the ones I recommend. But when you pay with like a 50 or a 20 for a drink, you tell that waiter, hey, man, get me a Corona. Here's $20 and make him look at you and he'll say $20. Okay. That's what you do at the Hong Kong club. The waiters have numbers on them, like waiter number 149. You'll say, Hey man, 149. This is a hundred dollar bill. Bring me back my chains in, in once for the tips, something like that. And they'll count it out, but just be aware of your change and be around aware of your surroundings. Also, what the waiters will do, they'll come up to you guys and they'll hand you your change in the tray. Okay. And they'll position some coins. Some of those big Mexican 10 peso coins, okay, they're worth, they used to be worth a dollar. Now they're worth 50 cents. They'd always have two or three of those coins sitting there and they'd cover them up with the bills. So you would kind of grab the bills and not realize that the coins were being covered up. So be aware with the waiters and be aware with your change. Doesn't happen very much. Guys, none of this stuff happens very much, okay? None of this stuff happens very much at all but it's something that you need to be aware of. Guys, the last scam, there's two more scams I'm going to talk about. One's going to be the passport scam. And what happens with the passport scam when you cross the border into Mexico? um, If you don't have a passport, they are trying to lift a little money on you. They're saying, hey, you're supposed to have a passport. You don't have it. Maybe $20, we can let you go. If you don't have your passport and they take $20 from you, Guys, that's just what you deserve. Get a passport. But here's the whole deal. A lot of the newbies, a lot of the rookies that do have passports that have not been to Tijuana very much, they're going down there and they're showing their passport and the immigration officer saying, oh, well, we have to get you a visa. And he's filling out a Mexican tourist visa and he's handing it to them, right? He's handing them their Mexican tourist visa, but he's saying that costs $20. That's not true, guys. Do not let those immigration officials scam you. Last but not least, if you do happen to drive to Tijuana and you get pulled over by the Mexican police and you have an American license or an American license plate, they're going to tell you that unfortunately they have to tow the car, you have to go see a judge, and all this BS, okay? Guys, I'm not going to go through the whole police situation on this video. I can just say, do not get intimidated. No one's towing your car, okay? No one's going to see a judge. I have two videos on how to deal with the Mexican police if you get pulled over, and they're awesome. Go back and watch those, okay? But if you're new and you're watching this video, hit that red subscribe button if you hadn't already hit it, guys. And I'm going to tell you something about subscribing to my channel. If you're new right now, you don't have any business driving in Tijuana. Go where you're going in an Uber or a taxi, Go to the top three, 
Adelita, Hong Kong, Chicago, and stay safe. Guys, probably, let me see here if we have any more scams. Guys, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to leave you with this right here. Remember this about Mexico, okay? Always remember this. A uh, subscriber of mine got scammed the other day for $200 walking down the street. The police pretzeled him up for whatever reason. And they took his money. All right, guys, listen. This only happens once in a blue moon. And I asked that subscriber, how long have you been going to Mexico? He said 15 or 20 years. I said, how many times has this happened to you? He said one time. So guys, if you happen to get jammed up at the border or by a cop or you fall for some shoeshine scam, that's just the cost of doing business. Guys, look at the bright side. You went down to Puerto Nuevo. You had lobster and steak really cheap. You stayed in a jam up hotel room, super cheap. Okay. You took two girls upstairs and you guys got together and you had a great time for one tenth of the cost that it would cost you in Vegas. You hooked up with two beautiful girls, super cheap. Okay. So if you get hit for $20 here, $30 here, $50 there, it's not right. I don't condone it, but it's just the cost of doing business. Okay. Myself, I've been hustled or scammed down there in the whole 10 years that I lived there. I've probably been hustled or scammed good, like they got me good, probably four or five times, okay? Happens to the best of us. You just got to laugh it off and try to put yourself in a situation where that doesn't happen again. Hey, guys, I'm out of here. I hope this video helps. Take it easy. Guys, tell your friends about my channel, okay? Share it. Help me out. We're trying to grow this channel, and um, things have been going great. Be safe, guys.